Hey, Kristen. Um, I am two weeks, a little over two weeks uh, post-op from my tumor removal, tumor removal surgery. And I am getting ready to go and meet with my doctor. I had an appointment set for this week on Friday and he called me Monday morning and said, hey, we need to see you sooner. So I am headed to the doctor currently. Well, not obviously, I'm at my mom's house, but I will be headed to my doctor's appointment here shortly. And I'm a little nervous about them saying that they are rushing to see me, like they need to see me sooner than Friday. Um, I know that after the surgery, they sent my tumor off for further testing. And I'm a little nervous about what they found or maybe what they didn't find. I don't really know and I'm just really nervous about it. But I'm going to hopefully be able to vlog maybe while I'm in there. I don't know. It's kind of private. I might just wait till afterwards and just fill you guys in on what happened. Um, because no, nothing may happen, you know. He might have just had to see me earlier because he had to get somebody in on Friday for a surgery or something. You know, you never know. Or he was leaving for vacation on Friday. So I, yeah. But I'm a little nervous. But I'll keep you guys posted on everything. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys. All right. So I did not get any footage of me at the doctor's office or anything like that. I was just so verklempt being there that I just wanted to be with my family kind of in the moment. Um, and yeah, so there's that. Um, I did want to let you guys know kind of what the doctor said. Um, so the mass that they sent off, the, t the tumor that I had, is known as a, mm, well shoot, uh, hang on, I will get it, I have the paperwork because I knew I was gonna forget. I knew I was going to. And I'm chilling in my basement again. That's where I am. Um, I've got a little sheet of paper here. Just gonna open right up here and just read you what it's called. Um, it's a solitary fibrous tumor. It's muscle cancer. So, um, when you have a muscle cancer apparently it's not the same as uh, regular cancer um, you can just have the fibrous uh, tissue removed and then you're cancer free you don't have to do radiation and chemotherapy and all of that stuff um, so I'm happy to find out then that I am now cancer free But uh, the excitement doesn't stop there um, because it is incredibly rare what I had. Uh, the doctor, I was asking him questions and he was like, I don't know. I don't know. Don't, I don't know the answers to your questions. So he is actually sending me to Barnes Jewish, Jew, blah, 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 Barnes Jewish Hospital it's a big hospital in St. Louis that has a huge cancer um, facility. Um, that's where my dad was treated when he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, and that's where he received chemotherapy and radiation. Um, and he is, my doctor is sending me there so that 
they can give me a second opinion. So by all standards from what my doctor says, it's a muscle cancer that was removed and I shouldn't have any complications down the road. Um, yeah, so I mean, hearing him say that is really good news, but then also now I have to go to another hospital that specializes in cancer. Um, that is scary. That sucks. Um, but that's what's happening. So I am going to be going to the cancer center at Barnes sometime soon. Um, the doctor, my doctor is calling them to schedule the appointment. Um, it's not a huge rush, he said. He said that he got it all out whenever he removed the tumor. So he's not worried about there being anything else going on, but he wants me to get a PET scan and just make sure that there are no others anywhere else in my body and to then be able to do uh, like scans every once in a while, like every you know three months or six months or whatever of my body just to make sure that I'm not growing any new tumors or anything like that and he's kind of hoping that that's what they end up doing is doing that base scan, the PET, PET scan. So anyway, I'm sorry, it's a lot of information and it's kind of just all loosey-goosey right now until I really set up that appointment with Barnes Jewish Hospital and get there and get to meeting with the cancer specialist doctors that are up there. Um, he is probably going to, he's gonna suggest doing uh, some genetic testing, um, make sure that it's not a uh, genetic thing in my family tumors and that kind of stuff or this particular type um, I, I was just throwing a lot of information in a really short span of time uh, I, I guess the part that's still kind of lingering on is that I had cancer and they removed it but it's not your typical cancer uh, because it was fibrous it was able to be removed and I didn't have to do radiation or chemo I don't know it's just, it's just a lot because when they did the biopsy you know they said it, it wasn't cancerous they said it was benign so I don't probably I look like I'm about ready to cry because I kind of am about ready to cry uh, it was a muscle cancer that's just wild anyway so that's what I had and let me tell you so I had surgery on July the 8th and it is now July the 23rd I think um, so it's been about two weeks and a few days since surgery and since the eighth I've lost 10 pounds um, I don't I don't believe that the tumor was 10 pounds in weight um, but it could have been the reason why I started gaining so much weight after high school um, you know, it started up then maybe um, because I ballooned after high school. I mean, when I graduated from high school, I was 165 to 170 pounds, but I was active, you know, and that kind of stuff. Like I played sports and I was pretty muscular. And then in college, literally the following year, I was like 230, 250, and then I ballooned to 320 pounds. And now I'm down to 213. Uh, but having that removed allowed me to lose 10 pounds. And I know that that thing did not weigh 10 pounds. I mean, my doctor was not like super impressed by the weight of it, you know, for it to be 10 pounds. Um, but anyway, so 
that's all the information I have right now. Um, I will say that I am healing up pretty well now. I had a really rough first two weeks. Um, well, first week and a half, really rough. Um, but I'm doing quite a bit better now. I wear a wrap around my abdomen. I have my incisions, or my incision. Um, I will insert a picture here shortly and I will let you know when to bypass if you're not interested in seeing my wound. Um, I will also be inserting a picture of my tumor because I insisted that the doctor send me or save me pictures of my tumor. Yeah, I wanted to know what the booger looked like that was growing inside of me. And he's hellacious. He is absolutely horrifying. Bob is his name. Bob is horrifying. But Bob is gone. And we hope that there are no Bob Juniors anywhere else. But anyway, so I will let you know just down here, somewhere in this area, when I do decide to, the timestamp for the pictures. So you guys can zoom past it. Actually, you might just want to go ahead and quit watching the video now. Because I'm, I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it all. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this follow-up video for my uh, tumor removal surgery and the post-doctor's appointment follow-up appointment. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm real spacey. This is just really a lot of information. But yeah, so go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I attempt to put out new videos just kind of as often as my body deems worthy. And yeah, hopefully I'll be getting back into the gym too. So you guys will be able to see uh, some of the workouts that I'm able to do. I just haven't been cleared yet. So I've lost all this weight by not working out. I just don't eat a lot. All right, I'll talk to you later. Here comes the pictures. Hey guys, so editing Kristen here. Um, I forgot to tell you that they ended up not having to take out my ovary or my fallopian tube. So I am in baby making form. So that's good news. I totally forgot to tell you guys that. And that's the most important part of it.